talk to me about and, and just break it down for people. Where do they start when we're when we're trying to build a list? And I can go into how I did it, but give, give us a synopsis of what you've done to, to build your list in the past when you're going after prospecting. Well, I think I think the big thing is you kind of have to identify like who, who's your ideal client? Like who is somebody that would take your advice or listen to um, you know, you bring some, you know, consultative services into. So we all know the people that we don't want to work with. Um, and so, for example, I'll just use, you know, my space now, which is uh, I don't really want to talk to brokers that are in the fully insured arena. I'm not necessarily interested in working with, you know, guys that are just small group. And so you kind of have to pinpoint the specific people that you think would be an ideal client. And then once you build that ideal client profile and you can go back in and look at, you know, the clients that you currently have, right? You know, what do they look like? What do they do? Um, uh, you know, what fields are they in? And, and when you get to that point, um, you can kind of look for others that are, are very similar. And then that helps you build kind of this target list. Uh, and, I, and I do it every day. So I kind of have a combo focus list uh, that I use and it has a, a number of different brokers on it that uh, I've identified that focus in the self-funding space, particularly work with independent TPAs. And those are the ones that, um, you know, I want to drip on. Those are the ones that I want to cold call. Those are the ones that I want to reach out to on LinkedIn.